Hello everyone, I am Dharni Priya along with my teammates Bharat, Viraj, Zubair are here to present the project that we are working on that is text summarization using NLP. Presentation, we will be going through the topics, introduction, problem statement, algorithm, use it to design, system flow, metrics used, demo presentation and results with interpretation. Text summarization is a technique for generating summary of volumes of text, focusing on main sections that convey useful information without losing the overall meaning. Automatic text summarization aims to transform lengthy documents into shortened versions, which is difficult and costly. Machine learning algorithms help a lot to comprehend documents and identify parts that play major impact and provide information before producing the required summarized text. The scope of a project is to build a machine learning based solution that generates a meaningful text summary of content available on site, such as topics like data science, Wikipedia, etc. The abstractive and extractive summaries are created as candidate summaries and will be identified by digital content and used as reference summary. This metric quantifies hallucinations made by model and uses measures and schemes that could help for better performance. The next slide will be continued by my friend Veera. Yeah, thank you, Darni. Now I will discuss about algorithms and systems. In this project, we have used text rank algorithm and custom frequency distribution algorithm. First, let's discuss about text rank algorithm. For text, text rank algorithm, we have used GenSim, a free Python library designed to automatically extract semantic topics from documents. The GenSim implementation is based on the popular text rank algorithm. It is an open source vector space modeling and topic modeling toolkit. The text rank algorithm is similar to page rank algorithm. The only difference being that the sentences in the text rank algorithm replace the web pages in the page rank algorithm. Te text rank is a general purpose graph based ranking algorithm for NLP. Graph based ranking algorithms are a way for deciding the importance of vertex within a graph based on global information recursively draw from the entire graph. This algorithm is fully unsupervised and no training is necessary. So now let's discuss about custom frequency distribution algorithm. It works on the principle of important keyword identification based on the frequency of appearances in the input text. For example, a noun appearing on the greatest number of times would be classified as an important keyword. The news article and custom text modules uses the custom algorithm to summarize text. Now let's see the working. So it will first pre-process the given text. This includes top word removal, punctuation removal and stemming. Next will be tokenizing the text. It will be dividing into sentences and words. Now create a frequency distribution table of the words by using a formula word frequency by maximum frequency. Now we'll be calculating the sentence scores by adding frequency scores of each word present in the sentence and the summary is generated with the highest sentence scores. Now let's see the system flow. So here we're gonna start with inputting the news Wikipedia URL or YouTube video ID and custom input. So if we give any particular input, for example, let's take a news article. If we give a news article URL, the data is pre-processed and we have used the custom frequency distribution algorithm to rank the sentences there. And for Wikipedia pages, we have used GenSim text rank algorithm to score the sentences. And for YouTube and custom text, similarly, we have used the custom frequency distribution algorithm to rank the sentences. Once uh, we give certain input, it will be processed and will displace the summary. The next part will be discussed by Zubair. Thank you, Bharat. So 
for the mass metrics historically summarization systems have been evaluated by comparing to a human generated reference summary um, and usually the most important things about the output summary that we get from a model is that first we would need to assess the fluency of the output text and the second would be the coherence of the output text and how it reflects the meaning of the input text. So the problem with an automatic evaluation system for a text summarization model is that although we can assess the fluency using some kind of language model, we can't really assess whether the model has pulled um, the most important pieces of the information from the original longer text uh, because that is subjective and it depends from person to person. However, there are some standard metrics whose scores are related fairly well with human evaluation of summaries. So uh, these are the this is the taxonomy of metrics for our project. And the highlighted ones are the ones that we used for our project. OK, the first one is BLEU, which stands for Bilingual Evaluation Under Study. Uh, it's an algorithm which evaluates the quality of the text. So whatever the output comes. Um, so BLEU shows how much the words in the machine generated summaries have appeared in the human re reference summaries. So um, basically when you summarize a longer text, it compares how much the model, how many words the model had when compared to human reference summaries. And the concepts of VLEU, with the concepts of VLEU, we can calculate precision and recall. And by pre precision, we refer to the proportion of words suggested by the candidate summary that actually appear in the reference summary. And by recall, we refer to the proportion of words uh, in the reference, human reference summary, uh, which are ca captured in the um, output summary of the model. Next, we have Rogue, which is short for recall oriented understudy for justing evaluation. Um, Rogue is essentially a further development of BLEU, and it is basically a software package with like a set of metrics which are used to evaluate automa automatic summarization models or techniques row uh, like BLEU shows how much the words in the machine generated summaries appear in the human reference summaries rogue on the other hand shows how much the words in the human reference summaries uh, appear in the one that uh, in the machine generated summaries so uh, there are different types of metrics in the rogue package and we will be using rogue l metric to evaluate our project and the results of that metric will be shown later on now viraj will take over from here thank you zubair so uh, let's move on to the demonstration and uh, how we can run our project uh, so let me move on to our project Uh, so our project uh, 
have been built on uh, Python language and uh, we have used the Python libraries to assist in uh, developing our models and the algorithms. So if I just uh, quickly go through the file structures, uh, as Dharani and Zubero, uh, Zubero was talking about the uh, matrices and the problem statement that we have addressed in our project. Uh, so we mainly focused on uh, four areas where we'll be summarizing news articles and uh, plain text uh, that will be input by the user and Wikipedia articles plus the uh, subtitles from the YouTube video. So for each module, we will be having one particular file. So in order to run our project, uh, first uh, there will be some uh, requirements that uh, users should install, uh, especially the Python library. So we have already added those uh, relevant Python libraries into the requirements.txt file. So before uh, starting the project, we need to install all the available libraries. Uh, mentioned in this txt file. So uh, in order to run the txt file, you just need to type uh, pip install minus r then uh, requirements.txt file. So uh, I, I won't be uh, installing these libraries since I have been already installed. Uh, so let's uh, move on to straight away into the project execution. So for that, uh, we have used a library called streamlit. Uh, Basically, the Streamlit library will help us to render the UI into the browser. So I have executed the code. Let's uh, wait a couple of seconds until it get executes. Right, uh, so the UI has been rendered into the browser. So basically going through the structure of the UI, we will be having the URL link for the news article and plain text area where user can input the plain text. And we have another area for Wikipedia links. And also we have an area to input the YouTube video idea. And at the last part, we can uh, give the user input to create the number of uh, sentences that we record for the summarization. So first, uh, I will start with the news article. So I have selected a news article from the Daily Mail. So I will uh, copy this URL. And uh, in here, I will be giving, I need uh, 10 lines of summarized text. And uh, it will extract the original text uh, from the news article. And also it will give the summarized text and this includes uh, 10 sentences that we have selected from here. And also uh, as uh, Bharat also mentioning about the custom distribution algorithm, we have uh, summarizers uh, summarized each sentence according to the score. So this score would be based on the number of keywords that appear in this summarized text versus the original text. So if there are more number of uh, keywords appear in the summarized text, so it would be having the high score. So this score ensures uh, that these uh, sentences are meaningful and also in particular order. So uh, we can uh, take this uh, custom frequency algorithm and the custom frequency score as one of the matrices that we have used in our project. So let me remove this uh, custom uh, news article URL and let me move on to the plain text. So I will be selecting a paragraph from uh, Wikipedia. So let me select this uh, paragraph. Uh, and I have pasted it and uh, let me select the sentences as 10. And uh, it will show the uh, summarized text from the Wikipedia, and this contains 10, ten sentences. Now uh, let's go to the Wikipedia URL. 
So let me copy this uh, Wikipedia URL. And uh, in here we can specify the number of words that we require from that particular Wikipedia URL. So I will give 400 words uh, that I need as the summarized text. And then I will click on Wikipedia page. So in here it will show uh, 400 uh, words of uh, summarized text and also it includes uh, keywords. Uh, these keywords will be generated based on the frequency of these uh, occurrences in this summarized text. And uh, finally, I will go to the subtitle summarization. For this one, we just need to provide the YouTube uh, video URL so it will extract the subtitles from the YouTube video and it will get summarized. So in here I will provide seven. And uh, it will show the summarized version of the subtitles that are available in the YouTube video. That basically it's about the demonstration. And uh, let me move back again to the presentation and uh, Move on to the results and the interpretation. Uh, for the results and the interpretation, I was talking about this custom frequency distribution algorithm, which uh, gave us the score for each sentences. Uh, so this basically we can uh, use it as one of the matrices in our project with this score. And also uh, Zubair was talking about the uh, matrix uh, one of the matrices that we have used in our project that's called uh, rog l performance so this basically uh, used to check the accuracy and the recall of our models so to test this one uh, we have used a few uh, inputs and also the summarized text uh, to check whether our models and the algorithms are working fine So these are a couple of uh, inputs that we have used uh, to uh, get the results. So uh, let me move back again to the project and to calculate this uh, ROG L uh, performance matrices, we have used uh, one of the uh, verified uh, GitHub repositories. And uh, in that uh, GitHub repositories, uh, uh, we can calculate the precision recall and the F score. So uh, in uh, short, uh, what we have to do is that uh, we need to provide the original text and also the system generated text. So based on the accuracy, recall and the precision, uh, this will uh, calculate the uh, three variables and give us the input. So basically, uh, these are the precision, recall and F measures we have obtained. Uh, although the precision is kind of a low in our case, but the recall has been uh, really good and it is been in a higher range. So we can further modify our algorithms or the model that uh, can produce at least uh, precision more than 80. Also, uh, our F measure was uh, in good range. So basically, when compared to the researchers uh, that we have studied during the literature review, uh, this precision and recall values are uh, much more greater than the, especially the text summarization research uh, that was done by uh, Lagata and uh, uh, Cheng, uh, which we have uh, discussed in our research paper. So uh, overall, uh, uh, the model and the algorithm is uh, working fine and produce uh, uh, results of great accuracy. So that's all about the presentation. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, that's it from Anytime AI team.